Me, 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 me. Mo, 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 mo. 2021. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to the Alcohol Review. I'm your host John Dilworth and we've got a great episode on our hands today. Many moons ago, back in 2022, I had a comment on an Alcohol Review episode suggesting that I did an episode with Thatcher's Gold and Thatcher's Haze. And I thought, hey, that sounds good. Put that in the, the wank bank, not the wank bank, but store that somewhere in my brain. Maybe I'll get to that eventually. Then someone else commented and said, there's actually a third Thatcher's called Thatcher's Lemon or something that I should try as well. Anyway, I go to Tesco. There's actually five fucking different cans of Thatcher's. And that's not even all of the Thatchers. There were a couple of bottles as well, but they were like seven and a half percent. So I thought probably just the cans will do, because if I, you know, I'm already drinking five today. The bottles maybe we'll get to another time. So here's what we do have today. We've got a can of Thatcher's Gold, a can of Thatcher's Haze, a can of Thatcher's Cloudy Lemon, a can of Thatcher's Blood Orange, and we have a can of Thatcher's Rosé. So we're going to drink them. I'll see what my favourite is, and then obviously... I had to buy these in, in packs of four, so I've got plenty more in the fridge, so maybe maybe I'll drink one at the end as a treat, but you know, see off uh, whichever of the cans I think is the nicest. Before we get into the cans, here's a little bit of maths about how expensive they all were, which I know is your favorite part of the alcohol review. It's my favorite part of making the show is, it's the value for money, okay? We're still in a cost of living crisis. We still have a Tory government. We still need to look after every last penny. So Thatcher's Gold, these are larger cans, 500 mil, for a four pack of these, it was five pounds, 10 pence in Tesco. And it's worth mentioning that these cans are 4.8%, whereas the Thatcher's Haze is a 4.5. This was also a 440 mil can, and this was four pounds 75 for a four pack. And then the Rosé, the Blood Orange, and the Cloudy Lemon all worked out the same. It was five pounds for four cans, 440 mil, 4%. What does all of this mean? I'll tell you what it means. I crunched the numbers. Now look, I haven't studied maths or had to do it in any sort of serious capacity in upwards of 10 years at this point, but I think this is correct. If it's not correct, you know, prove me wrong in the comments. But anyway, if we're talking about value for money, the rosé, the blood orange, the cloudy lemon, one pound gets you 1.4 units of alcohol. After that, the Thatcher's Haze, a pound will get you 1.7 units of alcohol. One pound spent on Thatcher's Gold if you're buying the four packs in Tesco, we'll get you 1.9 units of alcohol. And I think that's where we'll start. The strongest, biggest can, you know, makes sense to kick things off with this so that I don't have to be, you know, four cans deep and then having to drink it. Let's have a pop. Doesn't smell amazing. I think I might have had Thatcher's Gold at some point before. It's very likely I did. I've definitely seen it around a lot in shops over the you know decade or so that I've been an, an active alcohol connoisseur. So I almost definitely have drunk it, but I, you know, not recently by any means. I, I don't. I don't know what to expect here. Okay. I mean, pretty pretty standard, I'm not gonna lie. It's not blowing my, my socks off. It's not blowing my fucking frigid little cock. But it's not terrible. It's not insulting me. It's not Stoford Press, is what I'm getting at. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's an easy drink, not too harsh. These are, you know, not particularly cold. I brought them all home and I set the camera up and I left them to chill in the fridge a little bit, but I'm a giddy little boy. Once I have the alcohol in my hands, I want to drink it. I'm not going to sit around and, you know, wait for it to chill, you know. This is a fucking man's alcohol review channel. I shouldn't say that. I don't mean to be like sexist or whatever. If you're a woman, if you're non-binary, if you're a, a they-them causing mayhem and you can handle a, a nice can of cider, hey, more power to you. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I save a little bit. Maybe I save a little bit from all of them. And at the end, instead of downing a fresh can, maybe I, maybe I do something fucked up. <laughs> maybe I create the sort of infinity gauntlet beverage of Thatcher's cider. I like that idea, actually. We'll leave that, we'll leave that. What we, uh, what we doing next? That was, I would say, I don't know, you give that maybe a six, 6.5, somewhere in that sort of ballpark. It was, it was fine. I'm excited next, actually. We'll go from uh, strongest to weakest, I suppose. I'll try the Thatcher's Haze Cloudy. When I originally got the suggestion for this video, it was just the gold and the haze. We'll, we'll try this and we'll give a sort of direct comparison between the two of these. And then we'll get into the gimmicky bullshit ciders afterwards. I mean, either I've, either I've developed quite a bad cold in between drinking that one and drinking this one, or it doesn't smell of anything at all. I like that. I like that. What a rare treat. Generally speaking on the alcohol review, the only times that I drink something and enjoy it is when it's something I've drank previously <laughs> and already know that I enjoy like Strongbow Dark Fruit or Hooch or Smirnoff Ice. This, I, I don't recall, again, I might be wrong, I don't recall ever drinking this before. Um, and I think a, a tasty cider, very nice. Good stuff, 
Good stuff. If you don't mind a plain cider, the Thatcher's Gold will do it and it's the best value for money. But if you like a, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of a flavoured cider, this is definitely, I mean, it's, it's running away with the competition at the moment. I think that'll do for now, but we're, we're calling that, that's a solid, I'd say 7.5 on this one. Worth a shot if you haven't tried it and you, you, you know, you're a fan of your ciders, I, I would give this a crack. And I think realistically as well, 4.5% is, come on, it's about as low as you want your drink to be strength-wise. These ones, 1.8 units per can, almost not worth drinking in my Johnist opinion. It'd be really funny if we just ended the video there after I said it's not worth drinking. We, we do have a laugh here, don't we? We have fun. We chuckle. The bottom line is, I've spent just under 25 quid on cider, so I am gonna drink it. Not good. It smells like um, pink lemonade with a little bit of urine stirred in. But I'm, I'm open to being, you know, surprised in a positive way. Let's give it a, a good old college drink. Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like that. You know, it tastes weirdly sort of flat at first and then there's a really sweet aftertaste, but too sweet, you know? I don't rate it. I've got to be honest with you, I do not rate it. A sickly drink, a sickly, sickly drink. And it's gonna, it's gonna lose marks, you know? It's gonna lose marks on the fact that relative to the Thatcher's Haze, again, more expensive, less strong, less nice, less tasty. I can't imagine a scenario in which this would be anyone's preferred beverage, you know? If you like sort of fruitier ciders, you know, there's better stuff out there. Get a Copperberg or something. Don't get this fucking garbage. Rosé Thatchers, you're trying too hard. You've got a good formula down. Your sort of standard ones are tasty. Don't fuck about with this. Leave this to Strombo. I don't really want any more of that. Honestly, I mean, I, I, I sort of hate it. I sort of am angry that I bought it and that I've spent five pounds on it. I will call that, um, I will call that a four out of 10. We're now down to the cloudy lemon and the blood orange. I don't, I don't really know what blood orange is or what it tastes like. I'm hoping it's gonna be nicer than the rose. <laughs> smells good. It smells tasty. I'm not gonna lie to you. It smells pretty fucking peng. Oh, wow. Fucking hell, that is nice. <laughs> that is nice. This is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna do a 4% cider, it should be as nice as this, okay? Because it's not very strong. You have no excuse for it to taste fucking naff. I had no idea what to expect. The blood orange and fury, it doesn't sound particularly appetizing to me, but that is very fucking good in my, in my Johnist opinion. It just doesn't taste like alcohol. It tastes like a sort of, um, just like some weird juice, you know? This would be very peng to have on a, a picnic on a nice summer's day or, or perhaps at a festival or something like that. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting. Obviously I'm drinking it in, in the winter, so there's a bit of a mismatch in terms of the weather and the general atmosphere as opposed to the Bev, but still uh, a tasty little treat. I'm gonna leave that there for now because I feel like if I'm blending all these together, I'm gonna want a good amount of this in there for the actual flavoring, you know. And that brings us to our um, fifth and final option, the cloudy lemon cider. In theory, of all of the um, sort of gimmicky ones, this is the one I should be sort of predisposed to enjoying, I think. I'm a big hooch fan, as you know, if you're a, a long time viewer of the channel, and it's cloudy lemon, you know. How can, how can you fuck up cloudy lemon? A little bit off. It smells a little off. That is disappointing. That is a real shame. That is not what I wanted it to be. That is not what I needed it to be, man. Maybe the bar was too high. You know, maybe I'm spoiled from hooch because I like it so much. But this is very, it just tastes sort of weak, you know? It just tastes like, it's not strong enough of lemon. I feel like you want it to be either really strongly lemon flavored or you want it to be, you know, if you're having some sort of fancy fucking IPA or something where it's just a little, little lemony hint. But this sort of falls in, in no man's land in the middle. And it's just, a, it just tastes a bit shit. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not disgusting. It's not turning my stomach. And I, I would still rate it above the rosé. The rosé is the shittest one, I can say, categorically. But this is, this is second from the bottom. If we're ranking these from worst to best, it's got to go rosé, then cloudy lemon, then the, the Thatcher's gold, then the Thatcher's haze, and then Thatcher's blood orange, the sleeper hit, you know, the absolute, the underdog winner. If you've tried all of these Thatcher's, let me know in the comments, what do you think? You know, are there any particular flavours you like best? If you're in the market for some new cider and you haven't tried Thatcher's before and you're thinking, what do I, what do I go with? What's my recommendation? I would say for a standard cider, the Thatcher's gold's good. 
if you like something a bit a bit sweet but not too bad then the Thatcher's Haze is what I would go for. I would say try the, the Blood Orange. I personally really enjoyed the Blood Orange. It might not be your cup of tea but the, the Rosé and the Lemon I would I would not bother with. I think all that's left is, um, is I'm going to create a very special pint <laughs> and then I'll drink that and then we'll be done. Here we go we have the five variants of Thatcher's. We have our lovely blender. I think we want to go with a good amount of blood orange, as I said, because that was the, the nicest one. Fuck, how much is that? Oh, that's not too bad. Thatcher's gold, I think, is sort of a good a good neutral sort of base. So we'll, uh, we'll chuck a good amount of that in. Lovely stuff. The haze was nice as well. Pop some of that in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. As for these two. Let's go skeng with the blood orange. Let's just, let's just get the rest of that in there. Yeah, lovely, lovely. We're clocking in at just under 500. I mean, there's a lot of foam in there. Let's just fucking, you know what? I think that'll do. Cover your ears, ladies and germs. Oh. <laughs> fucking hell. That could have gone horribly. I did not have that sealed right. Oh, we laugh, we laugh. My concern here, and you might be able to see this, is um looks just like a lot of froth and foam. There, in, in for a penny, am I right? <laughs> Realistically, this whole uh, process with the blender, not necessary at all. Let's see if I can somehow pour this into a pint, shall we? Oh my lord. What have I done? <laughs> Why did I think that would work? I've got a pint glass, which I did not steal from a fucking pub. Stop asking me, guys. <laughs> Let me just say, I fucking hope it tastes better than it smells. <laughs> Starting to sort itself out a little bit. No, that is not going to work at all. Look at that. Have you ever seen a worse pour? That's almost unbelievable how badly that went. <laughs> Honestly, not bad. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is how they do them in Europe. <laughs> They actually, uh, they like their drinks with a bit more of a head on them if we go out to Europe. I was in Amsterdam uh, last year and, um, you know, pretty much every Heineken I had out there looked, looked like this. I've got all day, you know, I can wait. I suppose I could just drink the rest of these cans whilst I'm at it. Kobe. That went in. Ugh. Ugh. It's like Sophie's Choice, except it's like, you know, they wish they just both died. I, I just cannot fuck with it. And we're getting on. It's getting there, it's getting there. This fucking shit. I don't wanna, there's so much left in this. Guys, that one's going in the fridge. I, 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 I can't do it. I'll, I'll drink this one whilst I'm editing the video or something. It will get drunk, you know, don't worry about that. But I'm just, ugh. <laughs> look at my fridge by the way. Going to put this in. Fuck me, look at that. It's an alcoholic's fridge if you've ever seen one. Just chill out there, babe. No, don't don't fight more. Just let me drink <laughs> just let me drink my pint. Let me finish this fucking stupid video. Why did I put them in a blender? Thought I was being cute, you know, thought I was being smart. Well the blender just completely fucked it. I'm an idiot. You understand, you know, I'm I'm 27 years old. I recently had a birthday. Thank you. You know, thank you for your kind wishes. What, what am I, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? 27, you know, Kurt Cobain was about ready to kill himself. You know, you look at the accomplishments of him and, you know, other musicians I respect, like Jimi Hendrix, Amy Winehouse, you know. And then the, um, the alcohol review. We're out here blending up thatchers, not realizing that it's gonna foam the fuck out of the drink. Then having to stand around for, you know, 11 minutes at this point, just waiting for it to sort itself out. <laughs> so, in a moment that you really can't script, the uh, the battery in my camera died whilst I was waiting for this pint to settle. I think this might be one of the most scuffed alcohol reviews ever done. Regardless of that, the pint's looking drinkable at this stage. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In fact, let's top that off a little more. I think that's fine, okay. For now, thank you for watching and uh, we'll drink this as quickly as we can, but you know, the, the battery on this camera may well die as well. <laughs>